Hey everybody, I wanted to share a little DIY project that I've been working on. I recently found this drawbar organ module at a thrift shop through a friend of mine. i had been looking for an additive synth for a long time, so uh, I definitely went for it. Uh, and I've been trying to figure out how I want to use this in my setup. As you can see, there's no keys on it, so it needs to be controlled via some sort of MIDI input. Uh, obviously I could hook a keyboard up to it, um, then I would be looping anything that comes out of it or just using it for uh, live stuff. But I thought, um, I currently only have one piece of gear on my setup that is droning the entire time without looping, and that's the Bleep Labs Nebula phone over here. So I thought it'd be pretty cool if I could build something that will do something similar via MIDI with this module. So if you see over here, I uh, got a bit of an Arduino setup. Um, got a little prototyping proof of concept going here. Uh, and the basic idea is that it's um, a note holder. So uh, you'll see I currently have one button. Uh, there's going to be 12 of them laid out similar to a keyboard. So if we take a look at this keyboard, the basic idea behind the note holder is um, if I press, you know, C, E, G, uh, press them once, they're going to hold those notes down um, forever until I either press them again to turn them off or press another button to clear all the notes out. So this will let me do some pretty sweet drones with this organ. Um, also fill out some more low frequency needs that I have in my setup right now. Uh, so. Um, yeah, so I have a proof of concept, it's totally working, I have a full schematic uh, drawn out, and uh, it's just a matter of building this thing. I've gotten everything working. You can see I have uh, some cables hooked up to the MIDI out, which is going into here. So why don't I just give it a little demo. Uh, let me start the recording uh, so that I can get a better quality sound going in here. Um, so you'll see uh, right now if I press a button, it's, this is this uh, wired into the C key. So if I press it, uh, it's not really a C because this organ module is a little busted. Unfortunately, I probably won't be able to use it because it does things uh, like this uh, and generally is a little um, busty. Uh, that's my overdrive. So uh, I'm probably going to end up replacing it looking at something maybe like the Korg uh, Vocal Keys. Uh, if that might work. Um, basically anything with uh, three octaves of square and uh, filter will do so um, shouldn't be hard to find something that works but regardless I had this um, cool little guy come out of it so still a win for me. Uh, you can hear there's a note going um, this pot here is um, my octave so I actually have eight octaves of notes that I can hold so if I turn this up Press the button again, and keep adding notes, turn up again. Um, so you see this is kind of the basic idea, you can layer notes. Obviously I'm uh, wired into pin 2, which is my C key, so I'm not going to be able to hit any other keys, um, but if I pull it out and put in pin 0, I can press the button, I'll get my clear notes. Uh, so there'll be 12 keys, 12 buttons for the keys, one to clear everything, um, one knob for the octave, and one knob for the velocity as well of the notes that you're putting in. You can't change the velocity after they put in because then you'd have to change the note message and MIDI is kind of weird like that. Um, but that's it. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to do a little demo now.